Hello and welcome back to the course. Uh, in this section, we are going to study about uh, Diffie Hellman key exchange algorithm. Uh, so, uh, Diffie Hellman uh, has, uh, they are the first uh, to invent this uh, Diffie Hellman key exchange algorithm. Uh, the, the first public uh, publication they did uh, in 1976, I think uh, this is the first published uh, key, public key algorithm appeared in the influential paper by Diffie and Hellman that defined the public key cryptography general, which is generally called as the Diffie Hellman key exchange. The number of commercial products employ this particular key exchange technique because of its more complexity. Uh, the purpose of this uh, algorithm is to enable the two users to secretly exchange the key that can then be used for the subsequent uh, symmetric encryption of the message. So, uh, as far as the importance for this Diffie-Hellman algorithm is that because of the exchange of the key by the two users, uh, the algorithm itself is limited to the exchange of secret values. Uh, depends of uh, for the uh, its effectiveness of their difficulty of the computing discrete algorithms. Most of the time, the discrete algorithms are being preferred to decrypt this particular algorithm. Uh, suppose, take an example. So, in order to have the elaboration on the Diffie Hellman, um, the, uh, we are going to come and take an example of the uh, communication between the Alice and the Bob. Um, so, there are parallel processing the Alice side. Alice and the Bob share the prime number Q and then integer Q, uh, integer alpha. Uh, such that alpha is less than q and alpha is a primitive root of q. Uh, similarly, the uh, Alice and Bob share uh, prime number q, same. Um, uh, and, and the next step is the uh, Alice generates a private key x of a, x of x a, uh, such that x of a is less than q. Uh, Bob generates the private key x of b, uh, such that x of b is less than q. Uh, again, uh, this is a uh, uh, important step. Alice uh, calculate the public key y of a uh, based on x of uh, alpha raised to x of a mod of q, and this y of a is exchanged with the Bob, and then Bob receives the Alice public key y of a in a plain text. Uh, here, the Bob calculate the public key y of b with the help of alpha raised to x of b mod of q. And this y of b is exchanged with the Alice. The Alice receives the Bob's public key y of b in the plain text. So y of b becomes a public key to the Alice. And y of a becomes a public key for the Bob. Uh, then uh, Alice calculates the shared secret key k with the help of y of b raised to x of a mod of q. And Bob, calcula Bob calculates the shared secret key with the help of k is equal to y of a x, uh, raised to x of b mod of q. So, uh, the basic idea behind is to pro provide the public keys uh, and exchange it. There are two public, uh, publicly known numbers, a prime number q and an integer uh, a, uh, that is, uh, sorry, alpha, uh, primitive root of q. Uh, suppose user a and b wishes to create a shared key uh, user A selects a random integer x of A which is less than Q and computes y of A uh, alpha raised to uh, x of A mod of Q. And similarly, uh, user B independently selects the random uh, integer x of B which is less than Q and computes y of B uh, with the help of alpha raised to x of B mod of Q. Each side keeps the x value private and makes the y value available publicly to the other side. So x of a is a a's private key and y of a is uh, a's corresponding public key and similarly for b. So uh, two users generate two keys and one kept private and second is public. So um, user a computes the key as k is equal to y of b raised to x of a mod of q and user b computes the key as K, uh, k is equal to y of, uh, y, y of a raised to x of b mod of q. So, these two calculations produces the identical results. So, uh, these are the calculations for the key calculation. k is equal to y of b raised to x of a mod of q. And similar calculations are being carried out here. 
phi of k raised to x of b, phi of a raised to x of b mod of q. So these two results are similar. Okay. This is done with the help of the by uh, the rule of modular arithmetic. The result is that the two sides have the exchange a secret key, secret value, and typically this uh, secret value is used as a share. Uh, shared symmetric uh, secret key, shared symmetric secret key. Now consider the adversary. When uh, the adversary is uh, in, uh, come into picture, uh, the adversary is who can uh, observe the key exchange and wishes to determine the secret key key. Because x of a and x of b are private and adversary only has to following ingredients to work with the, that is q, a, uh, sorry, alpha, uh, y of a and y of b. So thus this adversary is forced to make the use of the log discrete algorithm to determine the key. Uh, for example, the determine, uh, to determine the private key b uh, of the user b, an adversary uh, must compute x of b. Uh, so with the help of this formula, d log of y of b to the base alpha q. Uh, so the adversary can calculate the k uh, key uh, in the same manner as user B can calculate. Uh, that is, the adversary can calculate K as Y of A raised to X of B mod of Q. Thus, uh, the security of the Diff Hellman, uh, Diffy Hellman uh, can exchange lies in the fact that while it is uh, relatively easy to calculate the uh, exponential modulo in a prime. It is very difficult to calculate the discrete algorithms, uh, discrete logarithms. Sorry. Uh, so for large primes, the later task is considered infeasible. Uh, for example, uh, the key exchange is based on the use of the prime numbers. So suppose Q is equal to 353, and permitting root of the 353 is alpha is equal to 3. Uh, A and B select the uh, private keys x of a is 95 and x of b is equal to 233 respectively. Uh, each compute its public key. Now a computes y of a is equal to 3 raised to 95 and uh, mod of uh, 353 which is gives which gives a 40. A computes y of b uh, 3 raised to 253 uh, 233 mod of um, uh, 353. So it gives a 248. Uh, after they exchange uh, public keys. Uh, each can compute the common secret key. So, uh, the A can be computed the key as K is equal to Y B raised to uh, Y B X of A. Uh, sorry, it is a raised to Y B raised to X of A mod of 253. That is 2 raised to uh, 248 raised to 95 mod of you know, 353. It is equal to 160. And B computes so Y, a K is in that is equal to Y of uh, A raised to X of B mod of 253, that is uh, 402 raised to 33 uh, mod of 353, that gives a 160. So uh, A and B are having the same, that is when, when they are going to exchange the keys. Uh, we assume an attacker would have available uh, the following information Q is equal to 353, alpha is equal to A, uh, sorry, alpha is equal to 3 y of a is equal to 40 and y of b is equal to 248. Okay, uh, so this is all about the uh, uh, operation of uh, uh, Diffie-Hellman uh, algorithm in which we can say um, uh, some secret keys are exchanged because of which the um, more uh, percentage of securities can be added to the uh, plain text.